All right, guys, what is going on, folks? Son of Beast here, and we finally had made it to the season finale, but this time, it's about two parts in between. One for the start of it, and the second will be determining the winner and for the end of the season. Here's what I mentioned here before, just to recall this. So, Nickel is the one that is the last one to be eliminated here in episode 17. The previous episode that I definitely reacted in the final four. But this time, before part two comes in for episode 19, I'm wondering what will it be? Well, I definitely did watch the trailer, and I know that it's going to be like two parts, what Adam just said. But I have no idea what will this be about. Well, well, I guess I just noticed what's going on right now, but hey, I mean, can't ruin your life, actually, because what I noticed right now there was one way and I saw the notification right in between the mid of January and I was not even noticing that it was coming out. So by the return of college, I was realizing I was going to do the animation. But in that case, the start of her next year is going to be different than that. So yeah, I have to do some a lot of like animating scenes in between of the background parts. Mm hmm. I can't let this happen right now. In the meantime, this is where it comes in. Instead of doing just the elimination, uh, which is always the last one in, this will be different because this is what it's going to be about. Since I know most of the viewers were watching the full part of the episode of Reaction, I'm about to do this because this is my first time doing it for the whole video of this episode of the object show. And this is what everyone really wants. I mean, I can't really say what it is now. So anyway, let's stop waffling. And if you like this video, please don't forget to follow me on my social media and like this video if you like my reaction. You can also subscribe to Animation Epic. Of course, he already made it to 500 subscribers for 1,000 of it. I mean, which is crazy. Congrats to that. And definitely... Looking to get more, just like Jack and Jellyfy. Well, it's definitely the day, but can't let that happen to you. All right. In fact, this is the next one. It's called A Jury of Your Fears. Well, who's afraid of that? Nobody wants that. Anyway, so this is why I'm doing it back on the computer since I did it in 2021. But now this time, it's a newer way to put this background screen and it's time to see what happens if there is a choice of what's going to happen. So brace yourself, and I guess that the Springy might be coming back. So, I don't know. I mean, you guys would never bet if I chose Springy to come back in, just like episode 14 of last year, of 2023. Well, okay then, I'll just stay quiet. All right, I don't know who's the next one going to be, so... Um, all right. Hopefully it won't be the Freddy again. <laughs> Sorry, I'm making too much predictions. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. First finale part starts now. Of course I know that. It's the bat from episode 11. The pesty bat. Greetings and salutations! It's finale day! Oh yeah, I know that Springy was going to be. And yes, I knew it! <laughs> Who's smarter now? Me. <laughs> yeah, of course. But hey, welcome back there, Springy. I just didn't realize that what was going to happen. Perhaps it's a little bit messy at this point. If I would have brought Jersey here, who would know that? I'm sorry, I'm just making my own prediction of what's going to happen. But anyway, let's stop waffling, let's keep the episode going. After our many challenges, you have made it to the final three! These are the bots? Oh my gosh! These are the ones that, that somebody made this that Springy have to create? So Springy had to come up the idea, huh? Oh my gosh. No. No way! <laughs> oh my goodness. I can't believe it. 
Give it a try. Let's do it. Yes, let's do it. What was that? Oh, a poor inanimate. Oh, looks like it escaped Mephone's horrifying challenge. That's right. We felt your woes. A beautiful game designed to go on forever, tainted by a manipulative phone who's burning away all that was once perfect. Walkie here saved me after I tried to help. I was giving it everything he wanted! <laughs> Springy! I, I could definitely say that it looks like that the jury would have made that decision. I, I couldn't tell that, that Springy was definitely so mad about that. I thought it would be like a toy. Just like a sponsorship, if you already uh, recalled it from episode 14, just like I did. But in that case, in my opinion, I can't believe that Springy just fell out and then from the top and definitely went into the mouth. But now he broke it out of the ground. So this is what happens right now. It's perfectly all damaged up. So it looks like that Springy wants revenge, huh? He never saw that coming. Oh, and by the way, it's a male. Why you guys could say, why are you guys saying it's a female? Like Zoe LaFoya, the actor played it as a Springy. Why you guys are saying that? Please don't say anything. Okay, Mail. I didn't do this until I met him. I didn't look like this until I met him. He's a monster. And his sheep would fall off a cliff for him. Oh, the, the monster. So that one might have been the floor that catched him and then tried to chew it up. Hmm? So yeah, it's no consumption. I mean, I can't really think of it now. But that's like a free fall and clipped. I just do not even believe it. I'm falling! I can't get back up! Alright, I just don't know what to say. Hi there! Hmm. But if this one feels the same way as us, she won't be the only one. Wanna command something other than toys? Oh, yes! So you said toys already! How would you say that? Yes! Yes! It's time to watch me phone's rain melt away! <laughs> I just don't even believe it because it's like a villain. I, I can't even say what it is now. So, now the intro's coming on. <laughs> oh! oh, God. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> Before the intro comes up, the cabbie and balloon just saw what was going to happen. They felt like, oh my god, they gotta make some creations up. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. I think thing I thinking I thought the intro was gonna pop up, but that will be later. But what? How am I to enjoy my finale day meditation with this volume? How are you so relaxed? We're about to face the jury! No matter what work we've put in over the course of the game, it'll all be for nothing if we can't explain ourselves properly. And I'm not leaving that up to improvisation. <laughs> oh. Did I stumble upon the final three composition in which I'm the only one gifted with- Actually, I just do not even know what to say about you, Silver Spoon. Perhaps I did watch the trailer. Um, this used to be like that before this video was published, um, the next week on the day. So yeah, that was last week. With language. <laughs> we're gifted, just when uh, w w words are, uh, for when words are formatted for looking at and, uh... Don't hurt yourself. Soon it'll be you with egg on your face. When you're milking your limited arguments. To curry favor with the jury. Well, now you're just making up phrases. <laughs> Gift of language right here. But... Yeah, but whatever. <laughs> and the, the picnic table is back. Oh, of course it is. Somebody put in these, like, a magic that uh, reveals it and then some picnic stuff coming along. I mean, what could I say? Could I go with some picnic stuff? Um, grab me a bite full of cookie and some a little bit of an excellent one of hamburger. Okay, I was just mistaken. They don't... Perhaps give it to me. Okay, whatever. Oh, <laughs> uh, what would the jury be, huh? Whatever. Congratulations! 
Delicious! Uh, uh, why am I not used to that by now? Sorry, I just finished preparations on the set and it hit me. This is the actual final day. So weird, right? Oh, uh, it's kind of weird, actually. I know that Floor just made a congratulations. That meat bone, he's like scaring, like, oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, what a react. I can't believe it. Very. All right, told fate, I get it. Just in theory, of course. Uh, but I'm proud of you for letting your baby bird fly off. Need me to bring <laughs> anything over? Like this four folder? Uh, no, all fine and good. Just some personal scrap thoughts from me. me I thought I was gonna be all for Cappy, who the one that thinking of the next majority of the, it, is season four gonna be coming back here too? Will there be new contestants here? Because I have a new contestant that I can bring on. Boomer? Or something like that? Or some returning contestants from season two or whatsoever from one. Phone four. Sure. All right. Then it's all in your hands then. Which I get. In theory. Are you ready? In theory. Thanks, Flory. <clears throat> Greetings and salutations. I'm your host, Walkie Talkie, and this is a call for all members to rendezvous. On the count of three, let's move out. Okay, so I am definitely going to say the intro is going to pop up, so I'm going to say it out loud. One, One two, two, three, go! go! If you guys like me, you know, that's definitely a coincidence. It's a golden cookie. I can definitely tell you that's a little bit of a change off and I can't really tell what it is all about. Especially when I already done the same thing. Hosting the Son of Beast reacting in Anime Insanity Invitational. But it's almost getting close right now. So I guess it's going to be our new season for the NBA and NHL. It's still season three, actually, but this one is closing before BFDI TPOT comes back. Welcome to your final elimination time. Except here, instead of punting one of you into the stars, one of you becomes a star. It's one of you becomes a star. So i guessing that it was between one through 17 the last time, but thank you very much, MeFone, for showing this, because this is actually pretty nice, actually. Um, instead of, like, a uh, comedy show, sort of TV game shows, well, there might be one thing on Comedy Central, like, what on earth is this? I have a funny feeling if there is another way that it's, it's definitely going to be, like, a funnier one, and someone would post this and be like, oh, what a day, I <laughs> I don't even know if I would do this because there's no reason why that anyone should be saying this answer again. And perhaps I would know that. But this is actually nice to be fun. Did you make that or did one of your crew members do this for you? Maybe someone, one of the animators did this. I'm guessing. Just saying now. And we'll be crowned our season's winner by your peers. It's examination time. Ta -da. Examination time. It's a, a season one thing of the elimination. Dun dun dun. Oh, uh, not. Nah. Now that's a song. Oh, okay. So it looks like if that's a song, looks like it is the same thing. Just like elimination time with the button. And this one will go down to one of the contestants. So yeah, I can understand that. Elimination time! Ta -da. Take it all in. Ugh, oh, just one more time. On the original Sinkers, I was here all the time. But, you know, who would have guessed that... A flashback from season three of start of the episode of its game, of episode one. I know that one. And rest in peace, Nickel, for your souls until we see you back for the one last episode to jury the rule. I could tough it out and be the last one standing, writing down nearly all of their names from Blueberry to Nickel. I'm just worried that the jury might not take all of that seriously because they see me as 
soft. So, best I can do today is illustrate my exciting tale poetically. Poetically? Oh, yay! I can't wait to hear that! Or especially when I notice it's the jury call. Let's bring it on. Yeah, I mean, don't be mindful to me, all right? Although I'm up to my top shelf with stress, wow, I can't believe I made it here. I just need to remember that whatever happens, I've been through worse. I had to make it all the way here after being eliminated, burned by someone I thought I had really bonded with. Oh yeah, because of Test 2 rival on this matchup, i guessing that Test 2 would have to jury with that and then try to like stick him up with that. And i guessing that the last time I definitely reacted was episode number 10 of the elimination. So I noticed that Test 2 was gone, but... In that case, I can't really tell what's the biggest difference between of uh, how did Cabby get eliminated in episode 7 before rejoining in episode 10 and Test Tube, the next one to be out of here. Well, she had claimed that, that she would never be liking it again if she knows what the file has gone into. But in that case, I always saw was Casey Lightman. I mean, yeah, I saw that back from the uh, BFDI event. And, of course, Silver Spoon as of Justin, for sure. I mean, just for that. I mean, can't really get away with this. So I must know who's the next one going to be heading in to win the whole thing. And what's the prize? No prize for the money for $1 million? Let's find out. I don't know what's it going to be. Which is my fault for how I came across. But... I've learned how to be better, and I'm ready to make it up to all of them. <sighs> okay, so make all for them at once, and what's Silver Spoon gonna say? Woo! We made it! We made it! <laughs> <laughs> we made it! We made it! We were in the finale! <laughs> <laughs> oh my, Silver Spoon's jumping for joy. Oh my god. Yeah, go f yourself. Whatever, I'm just gonna, I'm just pretending. <laughs> but hey, I mean, not bad for you, Silver Spoon, because I always talk in British accent, but now, meet my jury of Wood Spoonie, the sports comedian of the commentator of the game from NBA and NHL. So, yeah, this is my character. Please do not take it from me. I warned you. So this is my character. I keep it for real. So, yeah, please do not take it. But what's your thing, Silver Spoon? <laughs> oh, the proper planning and brilliant blindsides have brought me to my final duel with a couple of dunces. Unlike them, I used the viewer voting to sway the competition. I led the thinkers and the loony balloonies to victory, switching sides as I pleased. And now I am equipped with superpowers that'll be sure to make me an iconic victor. First I slew OJ, the former king, and now his throne is prime for the taking. Yeah, it's a problem for the thinking, but you know what? I'm not going to vote for anybody because I don't have anything to say. Because the last thing I know for was season one, so that was only OJ, when I know he's definitely gone. But who's the new character going to be uh, replacing with the voice actor on OJ? Am I expecting, is it going to be Jazzy Oliver? Oh, please don't let it be her again. I know she voiced over on Paintbrush, so... Yeah, that's one thing. But who's it going to be for the others? I mean, who knows? Can't control this by myself. Anyway, go ahead, me phone. And the first contestants to make it to the end since season one? Season one? Or is it actually just that from two seasons ago? So, yeah, I must have said it might be season one. So... Yeah, don't comply about me. i guessing that it's not the day what I really wanted to do, so don't give me a choice on that opinion. Let me just go back to the timeline for a quick second. Okay, I checked it right in between the season, and this was happened to be like two seasons ago when it started to be on April 7th, 2011. The last thing that was happening in common right now before Hurricane Sandy hit, 
And this is what definitely would happen. In between for those recruited characters of the contestants and the uh, returning of contestants of veterans and the new characters coming in, um, it's like not very easy enough to determine what this is about before season three hits. And I was unsure to myself and like felt like, wait a minute, is this what happens like season one? Well, I guess it is now. I mean, can't even comply about that. So yeah, you got that right. So it looks like that me phone must have had it correct actually. So if I go back to this um, after Silver Spoon, um, let's uh, just put it in between. So yeah, I think me phone might have said that. So let me see if this is right. So yeah, don't jury about me. Season one? Yeah, it was actually season one. So I understand now because I know what the season of how this turned out because that was back in many years ago, over decades. And this was actually the one that started it all. Oh, well, let's not bring that up. What a disaster. Oh, yeah, your disaster. So we nobody gives a shit about you. So why don't you go yourself? Sorry if I said that now. <laughs> I'm just actually being goofy. <laughs> Never mind, Balloon. So, yeah, I'll still believe you. You know what I'm talking about, right? Especially you can't curse in front of Pickle. You know, you could be a little nicer to Taco. It's not her fault. Well, you're the one that chose her, and she's such a I'll show you who's a Well, I won't let that happen again. Oh, what happened? A new villainous me phone showed up. A contestant escaped containment and went on the attack. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Are you saying that there is a new contestant, like, coming out from the dirt? Is it going to be me? Probably not. But there is actually another one that I actually created. Is it definitely going to be in between my personal choice of Boomer? Or is it gonna be actually like my thing of Wit Spoonie? Or is it actually gonna be like, you know, the guy from Brooklyn, son of Domnus? I, I, I'm not sure. I, I actually I kept predicting right now. So go ahead. You do it because I'm the first one here because I was started back in 2020 of the object shows. But now I want to see yours. A finalist ended up being secretly deceitful and British. Oh yes, an icon. And then they all collided at the cliff where they all exploded. Mephone Forest sacrificed himself to save Mephone. Shut Below Shut up. Somebody actually just is coming back? What? But, okay, so I know that season one definitely got me. So... I think that Mephone 4S is coming back. So is there another way that you could try to stop him, guys? If you can't, then you all are the worst. No, no, just kidding. Survivor. Uh-huh, that's me. Anyway, forget season one and season two. It oh yeah, forget everything. It all comes down to majority, but what's gonna happen? Is there an interruption? It's happy invitational finale time, baby! Let's bring in your jury! Fan! Life ring! Yay! They're bringing everybody back! Oh yes, I'm guessing that who's the replacement for the character? I'll have to take a look at the end credits later. OJ, Box, Tea Kettle, Clover, Goo, Bucky. Test Tube, Yay. Paintbrush, Candle, Bot, Yin Yang, Blueberry, and Nickel! Yeah, that was Nickel the last one to be eliminated. So now I understand it because that was happened because Blueberry was out in season three of the episode one and 16. That was the last one and it just moved up into it. So, yeah, I can definitely see that everybody coming back. And Floor's still here because he never escapes. He never disappears. So, yeah, could say that. Hopeful so. Uh-huh. 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 Yeah, uh, <laughs> forget about the David Spade's llama thing from Emperor's New Groove. So, I could see that coming. As you all can see, Box has recovered tremendously and has Yay! earned himself the immunity ribbon. May he never die again. Hopefully. Well, hopefully you may never die. So, two thing is, legends will never die. 
Yeah, expect that. It's because of what happens to be everybody going with their quotes. So yeah, that's the thing I know for from Sandlot. And then there's the three of you who decided to leave Indefinite Island early. Fan, OJ, and Paintbrush. There's no greater crime in reality TV than a quitter. There will be consequences. What? I, huh? Oh, so you got somebody out there with the quitter. So they just left and they never just buy it back in to do it again. So that must have meant they've been cruelled. Well, I don't know. But in my life, I would scream. But my second thought is I would actually say, me phone, what the f did you just do to these competitors? Well, that's a little too much aggressive, so Mephone would definitely kick me out. But come on, guys. I'm not even trying to offend you guys. Just like that happens with BFDI TPOT7 of Fanny, because I definitely do not trust her feelings. And it doesn't really happen to me that she's not even leaving the show, because it definitely sucks, you know? Everybody wants her because she loves that attitude. And because of a commentator, I hate that. It's very aggressive. So, yeah, aggressive to you guys. So you're not going to let that happen again. In the meantime, I don't know what to tell you about this me phone. If I'm cruel, you could send me to jail. No, just kidding. Because I know what happens here. You can make me a jury and I can bring Terry Cruz in to be the assistant to help them out. So I got no questions to ask, but oh well, I have proofs to me to explain it. You can listen, but I don't want to hear a peep from you. <laughs> what? After my whole epic voyage to Hotel OJ and sudden return? That's OJ. I always know what could happen. And Brian coaches back with the voice acting. It's pretty cool. And, and now you're going to yell, I said not a peep. I said not a peep. Without further ado. You said a peep word. You said a peep, fan. So let us begin. Before our jury begins questioning, we will first allow our final three to each make an opening statement. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, let them go first, but then I'm going to let them go next uh, for me and the other guys. So I'm betting there might be one person that will make the jury to get right into this. So uh, what is he saying right now? Let me go back for it again. We will first allow our final three to each make an opening statement. Would you like to start us off? Sir? Opening statement. Okay. So I, I don't know what it is. The final two to win the prize? Or would it be something radically different? I mean, I can't judge it right now because this is absolutely like no way. I don't know what to tell you. But this is absolutely one of a dream. I can't really tell what's going to happen. Silver. Of course. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> when I was born... You get 15 seconds. <sighs> oh, 15 seconds. Boo-hoo, me phone. <laughs> Lovely to see you today, Jerry. I would just like to say it could have just as easily been any of you sitting here tonight. You incredible, worthy competitors. And tonight, I am humbled to sit before you all. Balloon? When I was born... Balloon! Born don't say born. You said it like Silver Spoon did. Into the game. Two seasons ago, I still had a lot to learn. I was but a clay doll looking to be shaped. But I had no one to craft me. No one but myself. Um, what? Excuse me? <clears throat> so, while it started messy, I think you'll see that after three times out here, my craft has evolved! If you mean your analogy craft, yes indeed! What is he doing? And Cabby. My goal today is to show that I'm not the same Cabby who was eliminated 11 challenges ago. I don't want to underplay this all as just a game. It's our lives, our connections, and I'm sorry for the uneasiness I have made some of you feel along the way. That is actually very nice, Cappy. I mean, kudos to that. i would never seen Ben Cross, but he never really got here for the part of the show. So that's a disappointment. But uh, let me just say this. It's going to be one of you guys, except for one of you who has a crucial nasty behaviors. Don't mind me. 
How very polite. But now, the mushy stuff is over because it's on to the jurors who surely have boundless fury over their vote offs to unleash. Who's ready with the first question? Yeah, I have one for Balloon. While it was nice hearing about your three season old mold or whatever, do you actually think you played as well as a three time player should? Oh, well, uh, here's the thing. You can think of each of my times playing as a new presentation, if you will. <laughs> First, Dark Mask Balloon. Then, Scorched Earth Balloon. And now <coughs> I have evolved into Balloon Prime. So, in a sense, Balloon Prime has only played once. Hmm, <laughs> feels like it. Sorry, I thought you were a murderer, okay? Cook better food! Okay. No, I thought that was Clover that was to be the murderer, not you! Hey. Let's keep it going. Cabby, I think it's wonderful when we try to change and grow, but I don't recall any point at which you were particularly malicious or anything. Clover, I pushed you off a cliff. But that was so fun! I would have done the same to you! What? Wait! I also am confused. Cabby was so sweet to me and never, ever betrayed us or made us feel like losers! Is that to say someone else has made you feel this way? Oh no! Yin, she's on to us! Well, I think it was right to apologize, Cabby. Thank you. Of course. I'm not asking for your forgiveness, but I hope you are aware that I'm sorry for who I was. Okay, I never saw that one coming. Okay, let me just tell you this. Cabby! Is one way that happens to me because of arrival of this in between of test tube and cabby as you. Maybe here's another thing. Don't give out anyone with a secret here that you're going to tell me about. Because I was definitely apologizing and it's definitely my fault. Uh, because I really just called it a murder here on Nickel. But I can't really say what happened to right now of you. I don't want to offend you at this point. Because this episode is going to come down from here. And I know I would promise you bet on that. But you never just spoke to me like, where's my files? Well, I know you never saved it to me anyway. But I was never in a contestant. I was never in there. I wished. But in that case, don't let that happen already. And I would have felt I would have been plead just for me. You guys respect me instead of Chris Sonic guy, boo. Yeah, it's a total sucky liar. What a what a real f ass is being already been caught on me. So yeah, you can suck. All right, stop that now. Eek. Let's just let out that awkward air. Yeah, I'm just going awkward air. You did that. Oops, guess it's a final two. <laughs> is that really haha -ha again? Is that really necessary? So Spoon, go f yourself. So much growing and changing and loving, <laughs> but... Yep, not anymore. I remember when this was a simpler game, when we just played as ourselves from day one. Allow me to be the single straightforward one here. There's never been a second where I wasn't me. In control of everything. Hey. Oh, of course. Aside from your brilliant reign of the game, and of course, OJ and Paintbrush's leadership of the old and new thinkers respectively, you all left your impacts on the game. And me? Especially you, Goo. Well, uh, Balloon has done everything Silver did and more. He couldn't even take out his best friend, Candle. Balloon did that in a crazy blindside. And then he took me, his closest ally, out in the big final vote. Go on, talk to them all about it. All right, I don't even know what to tell you about that, Nickel. So yeah, you know what? This show sucks, I'm going home now. Goodbye. No, actually, I'm staying here, so I really want to know what happens next. Oh, 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 oh right, in a grandiloquent blindside, I turned against the loony balloonies, despite the namesake, and extinguished a candle's flame. It's actually just stolen it from bots that you did that again, balloon. How dare you? Not unlike when I and my greatest ally, Nickel, exchanged blows at the penultimate vote. Uh, yeah, I just said that. Maybe talk to them like yourself? But nobody wants that. Ugh, Snoresville over here. Can we hear about some exciting gameplay? What about you, Cabby? You were a real fighter on a definite island and beyond. Oh, right. Well, 
I, I don't have anything on gameplay, exactly. I figured that's what everyone knew me for early on. But, uh, I reassembled the original thinkers, w which which was a team effort, and Yin Yang and I tricked the loony balloonies with the immunity milk, which says nothing about their lack of intelligence. And with you, Life Ring, I, I, I realized it was okay to use my files, d d depending on the circumstance. Uh, uh, sorry for- Don't. Don't say you're sorry. You played a great game, Cabby. You don't owe anything to anyone. Bot, Bot just spoke up. I mean, I couldn't say I were you. Well, maybe aside from getting our time back for that speech, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, is that really funny? Shut the up! If we're talking strategy, I used the viewer vote to blindside Aye Aye's former king, I carried candle over to the loony balloonies for my new reign, and I acquired the immunity cookie twice without having to win a single challenge. Did someone say social game? Whoa, seriously? And beyond that, my triumphs resulted in... My inner flame! My mastery is... Oh, so you look like a glory now, with the power, don't you? <laughs> now you're not. So yeah, stop giving someone a cheating game! <laughs> right on the verge of mastery. Is this another trick of yours? No, it's true. He's almost as powerful as me. No, but I thought I was. You see my muscles? Because that is basically me. Come on, guys. You shouldn't be getting your muscles after at all. Like you're a real Hercules. Not if you're especially working out like Paintbrush does. Hey, are you seriously doing this to me? No, I'm not. i guessing I almost did it again. But I don't think I didn't do it one too many. Okay, forget about now. Let's just do it again. It's from the top to start off where we left off. Keep going. Anyone else with a question? Actually, um... Oh. Oh, yes. Uh, me phone. What the F was that? Okay, I was really uh, compromising. I was not doing that on my own. So, don't judge me, okay? So, I already made that questions with that being said. Is... When will the files be next for one of each final contestants? Is there an R way that I could definitely do? Well, I guess. In the meantime, let's just get right into this. Um, my ever guys don't really think they want to do it. Sorry, I just really need to stay out for a second. I don't think I would be able to vote for anybody. So, I can't make them agreeable. This is, like, ridiculous. No, it's not! It's something what to do with the competitors about, Boomer. Yeah, man, I don't really think this is not going to happen like that. So you know what? You know what? Me phone, you're the worst host, and I'm not letting you do this. No, stop. Please, no. Oh, my God, no. Do not leave. Guys. Guys, I need to talk for... Okay, this, just, this is about to shut down now. Okay, I'm guessing I have 12 more minutes to go before this episode ends, so I, I don't want this to happen. All right, so you guys promised me, all right? I guess so. Yeah. Yep. Definitely ready to do anything. Yeah, especially to you, Mike. And everybody all here just supporting a witch character who are they going for. You guys are truly my honor. All right, <laughs> I guessing that was a make-believe story, <laughs> but now let's go wheel this time. Okay, so I'm betting on, you know who, Cabby. Because I know for every secret right now, because of her file, it's definitely doing really well for her. But maybe here's one thing that gets me uncomfortable. It's that aggressive look, because of test two, definitely did that, and it was not really a great option. I know that Cabby was still already out in episode 7 and just gotten uh, suspended here with two episodes before heading back to episode 10 and to Immunity Island. 
So I now know I have the fact that I definitely went to the event, and I'm guessing that she's got a pretty uh, good drawing. So yeah, thank you so much, dear Casey. And with that, I'm going to see what happens if there is a choice. So after that, now guys, you make a choice. Who do you want to go for? After moments later, this episode continues. Anyone want to keep this going? I well, okay, I guess I'm done. I'm out of ideas. I think I've heard enough. It's obvious who's been playing the best game out here. Silver Spoon. The inner flame is a power of great importance to the world and to me. It oh yeah, it's definitely what the dark side matters, especially go to hell. Whatever. Isn't some party trick to be strewn about to boost your own disgustingly self-inflated ego. You will not be receiving my vote tonight. None of that! <laughs> Alright, so I'm guessing that who's the dark victim now? So yeah, it's off to you guys. But one of you guys are definitely saying that you vote for Silver Spoon. And not going for tonight. So I can't make them decide on. But in that case, it's all what I can do. I can trust the feeling what it is now. Thank you. I appreciate your input, Candle. However, if I have achieved the admiration of the majority, I suppose I could live without your single vote. Our flames need not be entwined. Wow, 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 wow. I'm yeah, wow, 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 whoopsie. <laughs> Oh man, like it's a bow wow wow, yippee yo, yippee yay. <laughs> bow wow wow, yippee yo, yippee yay, Mr. Son of Beast in the house. Bow wow wow, yippee yo, yippee yay, Mr. Beast is in the house. <laughs> yeah, I'm just making this up, huh? I can't really think of it right now with Snoop Dogg. Especially, nobody wants that. Copyrighted. I don't know what's going to one-up that, but any other last-second questions? Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> it's good. I know that one. Just with the thumbs up and now the hand is raised. Here it goes. Oh, yes. Goo. Give us one of your, uh, stupidly long rambles. Oh, uh, stupidly long rambles? What? Me phone? That's really unacceptable. I'll do you one better. <sighs> Is a chicken an animal or a bird? Excuse me? Bird! Wait, I'm getting confused with penguins. Oh, penguins. Like, the real uh, slippity, slidey, snowy, wibbly, wobbly round of the penguins. Especially not to confuse with Pittsburgh penguins. Or the pens. Boo! Okay, I'm not doing that anymore. Or if it's a bird, like, you know, I can call that one here right away. Eagles. I hate dirty birds. Or even, of course, you know, Hawks. Not my team I want, but I'm not the big Atlanta Hawks guy. But I always say is, it's all for anybody who wants that. Hurricanes. Yes, I definitely did uh, take a tour around Miami University. That's the part of it that we went there. Part of October of the month, and it was really hot there. But it was a nice campus, actually. Pretty cool. Are we allowed to say both? Because it's, it's both. Well, who knows? There's three points. Okay, should have left on a high note. Well, there's no high note for me. You can't count that as me, me phone. All right, while I'm sure you're all ready to vote and bring the season to an end, I have just one more twist. Wouldn't it be great if we could ensure that it's a happy ending for everyone? Um, if we can, not until the last episode's coming out, maybe? We all get to split the prize equally? I said everyone, not you. The jury will have the incredible opportunity to come together to figure out who should win with a unanimous vote. No winner will be declared until everyone is in agreement, no matter how long it takes. <laughs> uh, me, me phone's just kidding. Oh yeah, ha ha ha, that's a silly jokes, me phone. Especially you can't get over me with my beast jokes. Everyone. <laughs> The jury will meet in the jail and will be freed only upon their final decision. The game has evolved! Let's go! Oh yeah, haha, <laughs> not a choice. 
Good luck! Does Mephone really expect us all to agree on this? We're doomed. Before today, I was considering Balloon, but now, I think the one who's earned it the most is... <sighs> Silver? Silver? I mean, what is the point, paintbrush? What is the point with paintbrush of, um, with silver spoon? Especially what wood spoony would say is, what is the use of you? Huh? Might? I can't really think of it another way to say it. It really hurt when he betrayed the thinkers, but maybe that's the stuff you gotta reward in a game. No way! Don't fall for his full gold, you fools! Cabby's the only one who has an inch of kindness! What? Balloon's personality is nice! You can't take away the one thing he has! Anyone considering Balloon other than Nickel? It's a consideration. Balloon's been through a lot across his three seasons, but hey, I can also appreciate Silver's eye on the game. And what about Cabby's? Yeah, I was hoping you two would work it out after I left. I mean, yes, I mean, go with your thoughts right now, because I don't know what would Balloon do, because if she's out, then it's down to those two. The good and the bad. Well, not really good and ugly. That's no way. Oh, and sorry, I, I guess I missed a mid-season debut. What's your name? But. Oh, yeah, because Fan was never here before, and then now he finally came back. Now he knows what her name is. So, yeah, pretty convenient, right? But. Oh, th th there's so much I want to... Uh, uh, hello. 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 I would like to inform you that if you don't vote for Silver Spoon, you're all stupid loser babies. Yeah, who's a real stupid now, you stupid blueberry? Who, huh? Huh? Is that what you're gonna do right now? Do you understand what I'm talking about? You do not interfere with anybody else at all. Leave my team f***ing alone. With no respect for utter alphas. Excuse me? Alpha me is not that. And Cappy's the smartest player in the world. Balloon was in charge of like three alliances. Meanwhile, Cabby's lucky to be back after getting eliminated. And? It just means she had to try harder than anyone. You and Balloon got so caught up in your drama that the three of us had to do some floating orb tiebreaker. Cappy's the only choice that makes sense. Screaming back! Oh, oh no, and the emulation's on. Is this what you expected the big final day to look like? With finding myself word vomiting to the confusion of everyone and the world falling apart as a result of my inadequacies? More or less. This is why monarchies exist. Yeah, there's no way about monarchs. Whatever you're gonna do with them, it's like an ancient history. It's like, not existed. Well, if it is, you can say that again, Silver Spoon. Yeah, not a big fat loser you are. Stop it, there, gangsta beast. You're hurting one of the contestants. Please, knock it off. All right, man. Just settle down with while I'm talking about that. I don't even care about anybody. Enough. Let's continue where we left off. Good idea. Ah, healthy debate. Isn't it beautiful? This time we can have an ending where everyone wins. Sometimes we just need to stretch it out to, uh, to make- Oh no, the butterfly's back! Make sure I can finally get it right. A season that- Uh-oh, I think Clover's gonna escape. Oh no, I, I, um, I know it's her lucky day, but, um, yeah, I do honest opinion. I do have another girl, so- yeah, Mr. Beast couldn't be realized if Clover would have been actually gotten lost from the land where nobody found. Goes perfectly. Today we'll figure out the perfect winner and the perfect prize and without losing anyone. Me phone? Wait, what was that about the prize? Huh? Wait, it's immunity cookie. Well, what about a million dollar prize? I, I, I didn't mean, uh... No one gave me funding for a cash prize. Oh, so yeah, what happened now? Did it ruin? Or what happened with that show? With the budget amount? What happened to it? Did you let it vanish away and just come up with new ideas to purchase it from every contestant? For a contest? I mean, if I would run out, I mean, who would know? So, I never exactly... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
I just heard that, um, yeah, I mean, I guess that it's not Red Son of Beast. It's not dark, so no, that's not really true. I already have it buried, and he's not here with us, so I don't think that's not even true. So, yeah, I mean, I gotta go now. I'll catch you guys later in a little bit. Be back as soon as I can. Okay, what I just felt like, I thought was somebody was banging on the wall for me. And somebody would definitely would say, it's like, what's going on? I just heard a loud noise. But um, I don't think I didn't have able to do that. So, no, that wasn't really me. I swear. I, I just didn't, I didn't fall down the stairs. If one person would have noticed that falling down the stairs is very bad, bad, they'd say, help, I've been falling and I can't get up. Well, yeah, now I don't want to talk about that anymore. So back from here, I think that somebody just arrived. I think a nightmare. So I don't think the winners are not going to let that happen. So, yeah, it's going to be really that very bad, actually. It's going to be a nightmare start fuel. Well, here it is now. Just coming in. I think springy. Or me phone 4S. Whatever. Sprinkles? A, sp a, sp a sprinkles! You know that name, didn't you, Ying Yang? <laughs> it's Tyler! Ugh, not this guy. What? Did he find me? And. and, and, and oh. Me phone! can't disturb us now. And cameras from episode three. In do not disturb mode. <gasps> Me phone's powerless. Y'all could get out now. Let us go. Ah! <laughs> I thought you just wanted a hand. It's the least I could do after all that you've given me. <laughs> Springy? But how? It wasn't easy. But I had a little help from someone who'd never throw me away. Welcome to the Metamorphosis of Inanimate Insanity. Oh, those metamorphors. I would have said it would have been almost exact copy. But in fact, I am not going to let that happen because this might have been the worst thing in my life. So I'm not going to count that anyway. So if I have a next drawing to find someone who wants to put a draw on me with the pistol, I'm going to have to try to see what I could write. Maybe there's another choice I wanted to do. Let me find out what I can get right to this. But there's a point. Don't ask me. Congratulations! You're finally freed! One of us, likely I, was going to be awarded some sort of prize. We don't need your freeing. Oh, it's not your fault. It's too big for you all to see. You all worship a monster who doesn't care a bit about you. Sure, he says he wants to give you a prize. Well, the prize, I thought it's a million dollars. You would have said that. Sure, he says he wants to push you all to overcome challenges. But at the end of the day, even when you achieve your purpose, it's not enough. Maybe we can talk about it. Hmm. No. Come on in, pals! So you're going to face against them, right? Especially, I know of Trophy, sometimes, uh, who, who, who else am I remembering it? Is there uh, also a lamp here too? Ballpoint pen? Who else? Dr. Viz! <laughs> yeah, I recognize the lamp from episode 9. And now, of course, the piece de resistance. Oh, it's not Steve Cobbs, isn't it? Quite literally. Yeah. What? Somebody brought back Bodhi from episode 1. Oh my god. I know that Bodhi is back. Because of after that, all oh, it was the fire. And then, dead. Gather and do our life threatening of Bodhi. But I was thinking, I thought it was going to be a different kind of trophy. 
like the one from season two. I would expect that one. But no ballpoint pen. Well, that's too sad about that, so I can't think of what happened. It's definitely going to be the trios and the villains. Is it? Yeah. A fury disaster. B Bodie? It's alive? Oh yeah, it is alive. I said it first, guys, so haha, <laughs> you guys lost. Of course. No thanks to your careless host. We're here to bring him to justice. He used this promising show to hurt us and the poor contestants he's invited to this so-called paradise. We're here to remove him from power and bring the show to its proper glory. We are the Unvitational Committee. Unvitational Committee? And who? And we can make this show with or without me, phone. We have the technology. And if there's no cooperation, the contestants too. Oh my god. They're almost the exact copy, just like their team, from each and one of these sinkers, pinkers, and thinkers. So that's why that they were just making an exact copy out of them. Oh my gosh. I think this is like a mayhem. Is there a fair way to do this? Probably not. I don't know. I'm not the one who wants to do this. Maybe I can bring a never new character in. Just let me know if I can. Okay, keep low. We need to analyze the scenario. Wait, where's Flory? <laughs> <laughs> oh, in episode 12, what Cabby did. Oh, 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 not so mighty now, oh, little guy. Sorry to say, this was inevitable. Nothing good comes to those who help him. You can say thank you to Grosker for the helpful tips on wrangling you all up. Mephone sent over 16 insightful episode screeners. You know, before he defiled the sanctity of our organization. What was our organization? Is it also mean the crime that definitely happened to this one, Oscar nominee? Or what I call it, like, feeling that incriminized penalty for declining a popularity. Do you know how delicate our reputation is? Oh, couldn't be more delicate than these little insects. Working so hard oh, to do a dance and woo their jury. <laughs> like they've accomplished anything beyond upsetting everyone around them. Hey. You've disarmed me, phone, Clover, the floor. Now where? You. Be alert. Dr. Fizz, prepare to drench her flame. But, but the Hippocratic Oath, do no harm. Um, how about you worry about the Hippocritical Oath, who doesn't give a darn about any ethics? Uh-oh, I'm thinking something is going to explode out of Dr. Fizz. Is there? Six. No? Oh, wait a minute. Are you doing this? Because Silver Spoon can't? Incredible! <laughs> Taking the spotlights. Yeah, I thought you were gonna have powers there, Silver Spoon. But I felt like you're not. Even I have power. Maybe because of me, I am strong. Maybe I couldn't do it against them. Against Tyler would be very difficult. I could hurt myself. What are you doing? I can help her. No, don't do it! Oh boy, here he goes. Here it comes. I think somebody's gonna have to try to fight for it, just like episode four to recruit. Yeah. <laughs> and he joins the gang in. I didn't think you were ready, but since you're here, please grab me phone and bring him to safety. Oh, you won't vote for Silver? After all we've been through, after his hours upon hours of training, because he trusted that you believed in him! 
It's not the time for this. Please, don't let your flame cloud your mind. I'm more thinking that it might have been like an evil duo thing. But I wouldn't have felt like I would be like it's a total master in between of those two. And without Man Master Mantis and Young Cricket, it's not my only cooperative to do this. But I felt like something would bad happen. What would this be like? <laughs> right when I finally felt like more than nothing, you wish. <laughs> you should feel fortunate Silver came to save us. You almost didn't get to learn the truth. What do you mean? There's no time for that! I don't know about this balloon, but... No, don't do it, no! Stop! Oh, that's okay. Only one of you two can pop. That was very brave of you, Balloon. But I don't know when or if Mephone's going to be able to recover again. We're not letting you take him. Even after some... information? I figured you, of all people, would appreciate that. Will there be a Be Continued in Part 2? Just like episode number 8, where it goes with the first part and the second part? Because I was understanding what is going to happen now. Um, let me say this. Will this be two parts? Read it. We found this at his desk. Plans for a season four? Oh no, you told me that season four is gonna happen like this? An escape from this escape where he can start all over again. Looks like there was gonna be a unanimous vote that'd lead to three finalists in charge of next season's team. No ending for your journey here, because if he ended this one, he'd realize that he's ready to go back to the last one he ditched out on. Sorry you had to find out like this. The show is broken because he's broken. And the only way to save the show is to stop him. I don't think this will ever happen because I'm thinking that it must end. So, you know what? Curse you all because I really, it's really hurt my feelings and I was been betrayed by this. I should go back to my characters that I have created and I'm going to tell them that this is my show because this is what I basically do to just do my living. And listen, this is not what I basically do to try to quit this. And from Chris Sonic Guy, however, he's the world's most retarded person. Such a mother in hell world into my life. And I do not really like to be betrayed on him. So that is totally it. So this means I think this episode might be done. So I got nothing else to say about it because I'm out of comments ideas. Um, there's nothing else I can't go with. So I gotta say it's now time to meet my next doom for part two, just like last two years, of course. But in that case now, I'm thinking this might be it. I don't think nobody can ever win. Hey, don't listen to her, guys. It's not like that anymore. Balloon! Cabby! Now that you understand, will you stand down? Yeah, of course it is. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, it's been to be continued. I know it. I knew it. I, I knew it because of two years ago. It was just the only place to be rather in my heart. And just to prevail, you guys, this is not what the day is supposed to look like. I can't really tell you what's going on because that was the end of it. But what is the noise going to be like? Well, you'll have to stay tuned for part number two of episode 18. Or would it be 19? I don't think I would be able to know that. But anyway, I'm guessing that I'll have to look at the credits again soon. So I guess no talking thing for OJ because nothing's been announced yet. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at it first with this credits. Oh, and yeah, because that's totally it, I will say I will come back to you guys later. Peace out, folks, for a while as a jury for your fear.
of your nightmare dial, the mayhem. See ya until the final episode of the season finale. See you all again soon. Son of Beast out. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.